Hey guys, VBED here with another VPlays, and we are taking out the XP85 Goblin because I want to test the changes to the 12.7 millimeter 50 cal machine guns because let's be honest here, the, the buffs uh, to range on top of damage are hopefully going to give us that little bit of an edge that doesn't make this aircraft in particular feel as lethargic as it once did. Uh, probably going there isn't my best bet. Let's take a look at the lineup. We do have an RB-17 on the enemy team, Yak-15, and a Vampire for the humans. And we've got two ME-3... Two nines, uh, and it looks like they split their attention, so maybe this will work out well for us. Let's see. Uh, we do have some speed on our side here. Oh, come on. Let's get on vector here. We are not the only one firing at this guy, so let's not let these numbers deceive us into thinking that we're doing more than we are. And it's also a defense aircraft, so not nearly as powerful. Let's try and save our f2g from getting slaughtered again we are not the only one hitting this guy but i feel like i'm getting more consistent hits on these targets there we go uh don't get in the head to head with that thing that would be great turns out he has air to air rockets and he's a tier nine as well let's see if we can get on a six come on connor uh, we got the kill. Nice. For a second there, I thought we didn't get it. Uh, let's head for the mid. Let's keep an eye out for that bomber. He, one bomber got knocked out, not necessarily the one I was looking for. Um, we might be able to play with that vampire, but let's go for the closer threat and the one that's going to help us possibly pick up this zone. Knocked out. Not my kill, but we captured the zone. Nice, I'll take it. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, Private Hobbs, we do have a human and a heavy, so that means there's a fourth human floating around somewhere on the enemy team, most likely. That was some good damage, but not enough to finish him off. Might just be me being rusty. Let's kick the nose around with a quick little burst. And we got him, nice. We need to get 8,000 personal points in order to continue to get these candy canes as we work our way through the marks and if i'm in the top three i'll actually finish a mission as well which is another objective i have for myself hi there starfire that feels that feels decent i don't want to oversell it just yet but I felt pretty good about that. Let's go ahead and F2 that guy. It looks like he's going after my human down low. I'm going to hit the wrong button and apparently burn my pneumatic control. But let's get down here to help. And we just saved our buddy and got some more capture on the zone. Let's go for a vertical climb and go after this I-211. We're probably going to be raking in some decent credits considering this is a tier 9 premium. It's been a hot minute since I've played in this airframe. I was kind of expecting their RB-17 to roll over, <laughs> roll over our mine pretty quick. Uh, we do have that F2G. He might be able to counter that guy pretty effectively. And oh, that felt good. That felt good. We did pick up their mine now. What do they have over there? Oh, Connor, he's going to kill that bomber pretty easily. But I'm more interested in possibly picking up their airfield. I think that's something we have a little bit more control over. Let's go for helping an ally. Oh, uh, yeah, I see you guys. Let's go for this guy first. He was on fire. And, oh, we killed him pretty quick. Not gonna lie, that went pretty well for us. Can we get on this vampire? We are not set up for maneuverability here. I'm not sure what he's set up for. He got distracted. He went for a different target. This might be our chance. We just picked up the candy cane. We're gonna throw on the pneumatic control assist here. He got distracted, went back after a different target. That was a good opportunity for us. There's a TU-10, not the same bomber I was looking for before, but 
can we do decent enough damage to take out a pretty decently beefy bomber and it looks like we can uh there's the 217 again can we go after the rb17 this is going to be a real test because his 23 millimeter tail gunner is going to be pretty nasty but can we use 50 cals to trade away his health and we could that went that went really well I, I i hate to sound surprised by it but i'm happy with those results let's see if we can get this i211 we got him earlier can we get him again Ooh, i might have stayed a little bit too fast there but we picked him up what do we got down here um what can we do against, uh, this guy's got great tail gunners, and I don't really want to test my HP. I already know I don't have a lot of HP, so I don't need to go and test that. But I would like to see how the guns do against a very beefy ground attacker. That feels good, guys. That feels really good. We'll come back at him again. This is a more defensive way of doing this, so we're not getting crushed too bad. If we can get him here, it'll throw off their capture, I think. Complete control of the skies. This looks like a pretty solid win already. 329's 20mm tail gunner is also no slouch, but he doesn't have the same type of defense when it comes to his HP and armor that we saw with the French aircraft, but 15k? Uh, that was a pretty solid victory, and I feel confident in saying that that 20% boost is going to be more than enough for my liking to get an aircraft that was considered pretty underpowered to a state where it's doing fairly well. I uh, really wonder how popular F-86s are going to get now. I think we're going to see a lot more of those coming around, and it's also going to affect the uh more the heavier ground attack or uh, multi-role line for the americans so your p47 line leading down through the uh thunder streak the thunder streak got the, the buff as well and has similar 50 kills so we might be seeing quite a bit of energy coming back to all of the american 50 cal line so i'm excited for that it does look like we completed one of those missions to get an extra candy cane so we got uh oh I think, did we get a total of three? I think we actually got a total of three candy canes on that one because we collected one traditionally and then we got another two right here. Let's see where we're at total wise. Yeah, we got five. So that actually gave us uh, three from that one mission. And now we can go ahead and roll this over and reset it. So we get a new set of these and we can start working towards some of these. So uh, yeah, top three in a combat group by damage cause the aerial targets. Sounds easy enough. Sounds like a great job for a heavy, possibly a recently buffed uh, P82 Bravo. Because the P82 Bravo with its 14 50 cals also received the same buff on its 50 cals. So this thing just became even more dangerous than it already was. So keep an eye out for those Americans with their 50 cals. They're going to be much more prevalent, I think, in the near future. And I think this buff has been long overdue. We'll see what people think in the long term. In the meantime, I want to know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Do you think that the 50 cal buff was enough? Or do you think that it came too late? Uh, or do you think they should have, uh, the, the buff is going to be damaging the game balance uh, and people are going to be running around in P82s and F86s from here on out and it's going to mess up your, your meta that's currently been established. So interested to hear what you think. And as always, guys, I will catch you on the next one.